I'm so sorry. Excuse us, Ellie. Alice, you cannot keep doing this. Look at me. I'm over here. What have I been saying? Time away. I know, I know I am. Never stood up to him like that before. This is kind of new for me. Yes, I know what you had to go through, what you went through, but this time it's really it. I know a lot of websites that have some really cheap flights. <laughs> So, next time, like next week, you can be sitting and... Here's what we're gonna do. No one's gonna get hurt, no one's gonna die, as long as you go upstairs, open the safe, and get me everything that's in it right now. Mrs. Rogers, I want to take a look at this. Mrs. Rogers? Yes? My name is Charles McCall. I'm a time traveler, and I was looking through your husband's case, and um, I had to... Listen, I'm sorry about earlier. I just... I understand. There's just... Yes, no, I I completely understand. Not a problem at all. My, my main concern here is you. Your card said you can give a free demonstration? That's correct. Well, let me just say this. My other half, Bill, he's gone missing. I don't suppose that finding out what really happened to him would count as the free demo, would it? No, um, but what we can do, for a fee, 
is something much, much better than that. What we can do is control his very feet. I mean, we are time travelers after all. Tell you what. There's a picture that was fished out from the river. It's one of Bill and I at our favorite spot. There are lots of these pictures, but this one is torn. We had a... Anyway, the other half is probably still floating in that river somewhere. And this picture has a special note on the back. If you can go back in time and bring me back that whole picture, then we'll talk. All right, I'm sure that's something we can do, but I'm going to have to ask you a lot of questions, okay? Mm Mm-hmm. Okay. Let's start with how you found the picture. going to be very straight with you. Time travel is really complicated. Most of us don't even really understand the whole thing. But the one thing that you have to understand is we cannot change the past. We can't alter the past. What we do is control it. Well, I don't understand that at all. All those unrecorded moments, those lapses in memory, parts of unwritten history, that's where we come in. That's our playing field. The only question that you have to ask yourself is, what is known? I know my husband went missing. Probably drowned. Yes, and that's the key word here, probably. But they never found the body, did they? No. What if I were to tell you that I can go back in time and actually cause your husband's disappearance. Control whether he lives or dies. Control his very fate by causing his disappearance in the first place. This is nuts. You mean you were that thief? Only, and I stress the word only, if you so decide. And if I say no? The no will have always been your answer. Your husband's disappearance will always be mysterious. I will have never been that thief. And you'll have to live with that uncertainty. I'm not presenting any threat, Mrs. Rogers. I'm offering you a service. All I need is a simple yes or no. No. I'm done. You people aren't going to keep playing with my mind. I don't know where you got this picture, but you got it from the internet. You photoshopped it. I have no idea. But right now, I just want you to leave. How much? There really is an app for everything. (laughs) Success. Police have blocked off a portion of this wooded area behind me where the body of William Rogers was found 
earlier today. Now, police tell me that he was buried in this wooded area, not too far from his home where the robbery took place. Now, witnesses say he tried to chase the robbery suspect, but he somehow fell into the river. Police say an anonymous tip led them to this area. Yeah. 